decades, the Navy has turned to the animal kingdom to expand its ranks, increase force protection, and conduct specialized operations. Here at the Space and Naval Warfare System Center Pacific in San Diego, Navy and civilian officials train bottlenose dolphins and California sea lions for service in support of the U.S. Navy. Fire. Their extraordinary biosonar Correct. and diving ability make these animals uniquely qualified to identify underwater mines, locate enemy swimmers, and recover Navy assets. The animals are, are so ideally adapted for that aquatic environment. SSC Pacific biotechnician Christian Harris leads a team of U.S. Navy and civilian personnel who train young dolphins and seals for naval service. The early stages are critical in developing trust and, and an elasticity of their mind to, to understand that there are a number of situations and, and a variety of conditions in which they might perform a task. Training begins with exercises in trust. Speak. <laughs> Trainers build bonds with tactile, audible, and edible positive reinforcement. Intense training and strong bonds lead to tasks like breaching the water and landing on a transport boat. All we're asking them to do is just come up and touch our hand. And then we back up a little farther, touch our hand about six inches back, seven inches, ten inches. So ultimately we get the dolphin sliding completely onto the tray, give them a rub down, give them some fish, push them back into the water. We'll be using successive approximations, which are tiny little incremental steps to build one success upon the next until the behavior is completely shaped. Ow. Once the trainers feel the mammals have reached a high level of detection proficiency, they're okay. given an assignment. Good boy. Joe, an 11-year-old California sea lion, is a Mark V, or MK5, part of the Navy's marine mammal system. MK-5, or quick-find sea lions, locate and attach recovery hardware to underwater objects deemed valuable to the Navy. We count our sea lions like athletes. They're athletically conditioned. They do cardio a couple times a week, and then they dive to their depths a couple times a week. Good boy. Speak. Good boy. Joe has the capacity to reach targets at depths of up to 700 feet. The sea lions use this grabber right here to attach to an object on the ocean floor. They'll bite down on this portion of it and use this ratcheting mechanism to hook into the target. Working with biotechnician Drew Ann Price, Joe provides a simple demonstration of his skills, attaching a recovery line to a practice mine. Joe checks his work just to be sure. If you're diving down to 700 feet, you want to make sure you got the task right before you come back up to the surface. It's a chain behavior, so the last part of the chain is what's trained first. After a couple of dry runs on deck, Joe moves to open water. Come away. Water. Hook it up. He dives on his first target and doesn't make the connection. Go, go. Since Joe isn't hampered by decompression time, he can dive for four minutes, rest for four, and then get right back in the water to search again. Water. This makes Joe an incredibly efficient diver and invaluable asset to the Navy. On the second dive, Joe hooks the practice mine and is well rewarded for his efforts. The Navy and SSC Pacific trainers have laid a test mine field off the coast of San Diego designed specifically for dolphin training. This MK-7 dolphin will be tasked with locating a mine, alerting his Navy handlers, and then placing a floating marker to lead the EOD divers to the mine's location. We're going to ask the animal a question. Is there something there or is there not something there? So she's going to do a 360 degree search around the boat with her sonar looking for an object and then she reports back to us. The dolphin indicates a positive mine identification by nosing up to the boat's indicator panel. Positive. So they're going to hand her a marker. There she goes. She's going to take the marker and out. You're going to see the top of that marker come up with a line down to the bottom, which is a reference point to where 
the mine is. The dive team's gonna jump down that float and check the mark. Once the EOD divers provide a thumbs up, Good. she's rewarded. It usually takes about five to six years to get an animal from uh, the pipeline crew to becoming a fleet animal. It is a creative approach to protecting our sailors and making a difference within the naval community. <laughs> Undersea warfare is only one piece of a much larger puzzle that makes up the United States Navy. The maritime strategy includes other components, naval aviation and surface warfare. Together, they're the most powerful maritime force ever to set sail. <laughs>